What is going on YouTube? It is Primitive here and today I'm going to be bringing you the finals of the RMC locals that happened here yesterday. Now this is going to be between myself on the left. I will be playing Shine Greymon and on the right we are going to be seeing my opponent playing Dynasmon Mastamon. Now turn one we are going to see that they do with the rookie and just going to go ahead and commit to the Sirenmon. Want to get an ultimate out so that they can get up into their megas and want to make it so that they at least have something to play. Whenever I see a play like this turn one that usually means that the hand is usually pretty heavy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this as a chance to get my TK out right away and then Digivolve into the Beluchimon putting my opponent at one and now they're going to go straight into the Sakuyamon putting me at three with the TK. So I'm going to go ahead and promote now. I am going to get the security attack minus three but that doesn't really matter too much because I don't really plan on attacking so I'm just gonna go straight up into Kentorismon giving the Sakuyamon security attack minus two likely irrelevant because they probably aren't going to attack there because I could just trade in if they wanted to and clear the board um, and then I would be slightly ahead with the TK but then they do play their own TK to grab the Pulsemon so now gonna be able to build up and raising with that rookie um, I'm gonna play a Starmon so that way I can start to build up I'm gonna consider swinging in here if it does go down I'm not too mad because I can give the on delete to give minus 11k to the Sakuyamon, um, but I do live, which is fine. I want to keep this on board as long as possible and get those checks in anyway, but if I do go down, it wasn't too big of a downside, so I can go ahead and build up into the Red Rise Greymon in Raising, so next turn I can go ahead and Digiburst and get a Tamer out for free. My opponent's going to go and swing in, hit the Patamon, so no uh, contest on that check there. And now my opponent's got the TK Kari out, so that is something that I'm going to have to consider going forward um, if I want to swing or not and put them at lower security than me, because we right now are both at four so they won't be getting the memory off of that now i go and digiburst and play the kari now i can go into the sakuyamon and swing into my opponent's sakuyamon and then the red rise inheritable does give it minus 2k so i can clear the board right now and then right here i consider swinging in with the kentorismon but i decide to go against it to not give them the extra memory from the tk kari just yet and decide to just go ahead and give them the three that they're going to get from the tk so i can play yellow memory boost out my opponent is having the champion in raising, so they're going to go ahead and promote here. Once again, the security attack minus three in this matchup isn't going to be that big of a deal because neither of us are really going to be going out and doing any huge checks like we would with something like Bond of Friendship or Jessmon. Now they're going to go with the Dynasmon play here to trash the top and they get two cards here. They have a couple options that they can grab, but they are going to go ahead and go with the Unimon and the Mastamon and trash the rest. And then they will recover with the Dynasmon effect, putting them at four. The Dynasmon will be a little bit annoying because whenever I go and swing in for checks, I'm not going to really be able to clear out. So I'm going to go ahead and swing with the Kentorismon here. Um, my opponent is going to be able to recover back, but I was kind of hoping that my Kentorismon would potentially go down. So that way I could give the minus 11 to the Dynasmon and then the minus 2k with the Red Rise would be able to take out the Dynasmon. But instead, I'm just going to go ahead and double swing in to get that check anyway. My opponent's going to be able to now swing into the Sakuyamon, uh, which is fine because I don't... The Sakuyamon did what I needed it to. It got rid of my opponent Sakuyamon, was able to get that check in, and I'm going to be able to play the reinforced memory boost, which puts the TK on top and adds a promo Patamon to hand. Now, the Dynasmon is on the board. Once again, it can swing over the Sakuyamon um, or the Kentorismon, so they decide to go over the Sakuyamon. As they said, it was a little bit more of a threat because they would potentially want to come out and do some swinging from the raising. But now with my opponent's Dynasmon suspended, I could potentially consider tr crashing my Kentorismon into it to give it the minus 11k DP and then get some other DP reduction out there to clear it off so that way I can get rid of the um, recovery that it's going to get from the Dynasmon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and build up into the uh, Sirenmon here, going down to zero memory, and then I can pop going up to five, gaining three from the Reinforce and two from the Yellow, which is going to let me go into the Shine Greymon to give minus eight to the Bulkmon, and then and now because of the Shine Greymon's effect, I'm at 13k, so I can go ahead and swing into the Dynasmon. And now swinging with the Kentorismon, my opponent can't recover there. And now we're in a position where going into my next turn, I do have three checks to my opponent's two security. They can come out with the Unimon um, as a blocker to block off my Patamon if they want to. I don't have anything on board that can really clear off the um, Digimon that's on there, nor do I have the ability to have the security attack plus one that I would have from the uh, Yellow Rock. Greymon so as of right now with the security attack minus two on the shine Greymon they are safe going into their next turn the Andromon here could be 
a little bit of trouble going into future turns just because we have seen that they play Bushi Agumon in this list and so um, being able to go in for big checks could be annoying but as of right now they are a little bit on the back foot gonna have to play something to slow me down outside of the security tech minus two on the shine greymon gonna need something like a blocker or potentially a starmons to clear off this patamon but they are just gonna go into the mastamon actually to trash the top of my security there goes the tk that i did put on top of the reinforced memory boost and then going with the unimon uh, making it so now that they have a blocker but did have to get rid of one of their um, security checks would have been a little bit better if they could have gotten the god Mon there but i'm at three i still have a decent turn going for me because i can swing in with the kentaurus mon and get this last check it's unlikely that they're going to block with the unimon so now they have no security left we do see the Gatomon go into trash which would have been a little bit better for them if they had that pre mastimon because then they would have had a blocker and been able to recover the security that they trashed now thinking about what i can do here i do go up into the Pitomon, and i did have to talk to my opponent because i was a little bit confused because i thought um i i saw the kari suspended but i was at three and then went to one with the Pitomon. but that's when i realized that they did suspend it on their last turn when they went into the mastimon and that was a little bit of a misplay because i was going to go to three with the tk no matter what so if they did um, have the Kari still suspended, then at this point, I wouldn't have the memory to go into the Sirenmon and play the Shine to get rid of the Unimon. But now, my opponent doesn't have any security or any blockers on the board. They can swing in and get a security check with the Mastamon. And even if they played something like Bushi Agumon, they would be able to get a second check, but not enough to be able to clear me off. We see the Bushi uh, that they're considering putting in Raising. Not sure if they want to commit to it, but they decide to. The Bushi coming down isn't going to really be too influential, like I said, because I still have so many security. So probably just going to be searching for for something to come out um it is a purple digimon which means that they can't go into something like balder arm and so now we're going to see them swing into the kentaurus mon andrew mon's going to go ahead and play out the salamon i give the minus 11 with the kentaurus mon to the mastamon i don't want to kill off the salamon because then they get to recover um they are going to play these wart defeat to kill off the tk that's when i realized that we didn't account for the tk kari memory so they uh, would be able to go up i asked them if they wanted to do something else besides these wart defeat um and gain the two memory they said they were going to make the same turns anyway and so we just went ahead and got the two memory that they should have from the tk kari there now they're going to play a lusamon to recover hoping to hit something like the wyvern's breath but considering that i have three checks the wyvern breath's not going to matter they hit the pulse mon and then i can swing in and take the first game there with the shine now going into game two my opponent's going to have me going first they don't want to be bricking again they want to get that extra draw and this is a matchup where being um one turn behind the shine greymon is usually a little bit better because as a shine greymon player you usually want to be behind your opponent so you can react to what they're doing when you are a one turn ahead as the shine greymon player your opponent has a little bit more reactability to you now going into this i am able to just to put them at one uh with the pitomon which is nice because that's going to give them very little options into their turn of what they can play we are going to see the TK be committed here, so that way they uh, aren't going to be memory choked anytime here soon. And then they also able to search out the Andromon, which is going to be good for the Inheritable. And then also going to make it so they can give security attack minus two to one of my Digimon here. I'm going to go ahead and play the Yellow Rise. With the effect, I get to play out the TK Kari, and then I'm just going to play my own TK out for putting them at four. This is going to make it so that I also can't get choked, and I also get now two Tamers out for a potential Shine Greymon going forward. My opponent's going to Digivolve into the Gatomon, which is going to be good because um, for them they want to have that Gatomon in the trash when they play the Mastamon so that way they can have the blocker and recovery. This is usually one of the more prime targets for you to get from Mastamon outside of something like Bushi Agumon. Gonna go into the Andromon now, gonna give security tech minus two to my Rise which is mostly inconsequential because I don't really need to be swinging out right now but they are gonna go ahead and have that Andromon so that they can go into a potential Mega later but now I'm able to go and play the Kari for three going down to zero and then I can go into the Shine, give my Minus eight to the Andromon and four to the Sukaimon, clearing off the board. So huge Shine Greymon turn here. I'm also able just to put them at three because I do gain a memory from the Patamon Inheritable since I deleted a Digimon. But going into my turn, I have the Yellow Rise underneath, which means that my Shine Greymon is going to have Security Attack minus one. Plus, I'm going to be at at least 14k DP thanks to its uh, on your turn effect. So two checks coming in at 14k, going to hit Pulsemon and Gatomon. So 
two uncontested checks there, so my shine's gonna be chilling. I'm gonna play the yellow memory boost here, so that way I can have extra memory going forward so I can start to build up into various other Digimon and also just be able to search out anything that I may need. I grab the Patamon so that way I can put it in raising next turn when I do hatch and then Digivolve into the Unimon here as a little bit blocker. Um, my opponent's probably not going to be swinging in this turn because they don't want their Angelmon going down as it is, but they can go ahead and Digivolve into a Mega if they want. We do see a Mastamon in hand there for a second. Um, they are having it right there considering if they want to play it. Gonna go ahead and get it out. Both players gonna trash their top security there and then they are gonna get the Gatomon that was in there out. So now they do get to recover the one that they did just trash while also having the ability to have this Gatomon be a blocker since the Mastamon is a purple Digimon. A very common combo with this Mastamon deck. Um, a very powerful combo too. And so I'm gonna swing in for two checks with the Shine. They correctly block there. Don't want to be getting too much of that early chip damage since I already got two checks. I'm gonna go ahead and Digiburst with the Red Rise and play the TK. And since it is the Red Rise, I do get the on play effect. So I can go ahead and grab this Valder Arm. I won't recover, but that does put me at three security, which will uh, buff me up with the Kari. But I can go into Shine, give minus 16k to the Mastamon. So once again, the Shine gonna be able to come out and clear. Now my opponent doesn't have any um, blockers or anything out right now. And so I can potentially go in for two more checks with the Shine Greymon next turn um, so with the Red Rise, and then I'll be able to have two more checks since the Patamon's back there. Now my opponent puts me at four memory and puts up a blocker, but since I have the yellow memory boost chilling here, I can pop to six. They do know I have the Valder since I grabbed it out of the security, pop the Unimon. I can swing for the two checks here. I gained the two memory from the Patamons there. Uh, I can swing in with the Patamon to get the last check and then swing in with the Valder Arm 4 game. So gonna be able to take that game there. Now with these more mid-range decks, Shine Greymon really does shine because they are they just have to play and build these boards and then when Shine come out and is able to clear off multiple Digimon, including Megas, it's just a huge momentum swing. So Shine Greymon really having a pretty decent matchup there. So I was able to take that. But with that being said, if you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe because I'm gonna be bringing even more BT6 content with you. I've also been doing daily live streams over on on YouTube, but I am trying to switch over to Twitch. So if you are interested in live streams, be sure to follow me on Twitch down in the link below because I'm be bringing you a bunch of live stream content prepping for nationals and even more stuff past nationals. But with that being said, I hope you have a great day. Peace out.